Macy here. Welcome to the last episode of the Unity iOS tutorial. In last two episodes, I have showed you how to call native iOS function from Unity and how to send message to Unity from iOS. We are just going to finish the Redux pop-up and let's get started. Now we are back at the manager.cs script. When the user make a selection on the Redux pop-up, it will call the user feedback function, which will send us a index number of the button the user has pressed. And when you check the add notification, you can see the first label is the yes button. The second label is the no button. So we just need to say if the index number is one, then we open the URL, which goes to our app store. If the index number is second, then we will just save it as player prefs and then we will no longer show the user to read again. So first, we will need to get the integer number of the ID. So let's start by integer and select it ID. So we will try to parse an integer from a string. So if int try parse id out selected id and uh, so if we actually could get an integer from the message then we just gonna do a switch on the selected id if the case is one then we can just do application dot open url here we need to put our url and uh, i was so we just put it here for now break case two which is a no button then we will just do nothing actually we need to save play prefs here let's go to top of the code we just need to declare the key for the player prefs so we'll say static string rate equal we'll just name the key rate and uh, at the start we can just either load the key or create a new one and we just say if player prefs has key so if it's not the first time the user visiting our app then we just need to load it so we need to save it as a integer so integer marie equal the default value is always zero so we can do this is good and then my rate is equal player prefs get integer and if uh, the player prefs doesn't contain this key we're just gonna create one so player prefs set integer and then rate and then use my rate value which is zero by default so what that means is when we load the player prefs if the value is zero it means the user never visit our app, never took any actions. If the rate value, let's say we set it to minus one, means they no longer want to rate us. What we are going to do is when the user is pressing no, we are just gonna set their player prefs, the key related to the rating to minus one. And uh, when we are loading player prefs and we find out the rate 
value is minus one and we're no longer going to show the rate as pop-up so my rate equal minus one we are going to save the player prefs right away because sometimes the player like to force quit the game and we just say player prefs dot set integer the key is rate the value is my rate and then when we press in the button here on GUI when we press the button we just do a check if my rate equals minus one and we just return and we are no longer going to show the radars pop up I just made a new build let's test it out press the big button and then here's the radars pop up I just say later nothing happens try again let's say yes it takes me to the app storm of my game let's return to the app and press again you want to rate it and say no or do no want to rate okay then just keep pressing well there is no more and what if we quit our app and try to enter again let's find the app and uh, well, everything is saved. If you get this going, then congratulations! You successfully made the radars pop up. I hope you enjoyed this series of Unity iOS tutorials. And please comment at this video. Let me know what you would like to learn next. You can find me at Google Plus at Plus Macy Kwan, and please subscribe. Bye.